Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Chris Cast. In this episode, which is totally casual and more of a, a daily audio log, audio diary, brain dump, I am going to discuss my newfound experience of realizing that I have no imagination. I cannot visualize anything in my head. I cannot uh, maintain music in my head or voices in my head or sound memory, visual memory. I cannot, I do not have scent memory in my head or taste memory in my head. I do not have feel memory in my head. Uh, And apparently this is something that's common to people in various and sundry levels uh a real visualization like when i was younger or a child actually my mom loved to do um guided meditations from a cassette tape with me lying down on the floor and the guided meditator would always say uh visualize a candle or visualize an apple or see a energy orb or things like that. And I always imagined that I was just supposed to think about that while apparently everybody around me was seeing an orb, seeing a candle, seeing an apple, and uh, making mind palaces and undressing people with their eyes. Nope, not me. Learn more uh, in this episode and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, brand new experience with this Sony UX570 voice recorder. A little bit of a windy day. We'll see how it how it works. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for listening. Recently, Netflix or Amazon Prime, I think it's Netflix, maybe Amazon Prime, came out with a, move, a TV series called Space Force. And it's really funny. Um... But this is the first season, and I started watching it. And I'm not going to go into the TV show right now. Maybe I will later. But on the seventh episode, there's a scene where the general, the director of Space Force, who has a daughter, uh, his daughter works at a... I guess, is it a frozen yogurt stand, a custard stand, a a soft ice cream stand, coffee stand? And she's there, and she's young, and she's pretty, and she's quirky, and she hates living in the middle of the desert in cowboy country. Um, And so she's also being snarky and rough and tough and a bit condescending and also feeling alienated and insecure and ugly and stupid and all those terrible things that happens when you don't live in Washington DC anymore. And she's also kind of looking down her nose at everybody there is a bunch of dumb cowboys who hang out and drive their quads and, and motorcycles and dirt bikes and so forth. And there's a guard. Anyway, this, this stand is on the base at the um, secret Space Force base. And it serves the scientists, engineers, contractors, and soldiers of Space Force. And there's a guard, a base guard, an MP, who has a crush on her. And everybody's sort of the same age. I think that most of the people who serve Space Force are in ROTC. So maybe he's in ROTC. And he's got a crush on her. So he tries to flirt with her while she's working. And uh, uh, when he realizes that she's kind of looking down her nose at everybody in the neighborhood, he starts to put on a dumb, hick, playful, flirty act. And he upon first blush does come come across as a little dull, a little naive, a little thick, a little dumb. Um, But he mentions something offhand that's pretty much changed my entire life. He was, she was joking about him 
and his lack of imagination. And he said, hey, that's a condition. That condition's called aphasia. Sorry, aphantasia. See, I don't even know the name of it yet. Aphantasia. And aphantasia is a condition where you don't have... Uh, in, you don't have mind visualization or mind audio, uh, ization. You do not have the ability to visualize an apple, a red apple, or visualize a, a bright blue orb, or visualize a candle, uh, with a flame, or visualize... Uh, a crowd in their underwear or visualize undressing someone with your eyes and I kind of lightly discussed this with my buddy Mark before um, realizing that I was astounded that he had the ability to actually have sort of a, a virtual reality in his head um, similar to any type of video game, anything that he could think of, he could visualize in his head. Uh, 9-11 Targa, he could imagine in his head, he can make it bigger or smaller, he could get into it, he could look around, he can change the color. Um, he can have augmented reality where, you know, he pretty much can, uh, if you will, undress someone with his eyes. Um... And I thought that he had particularly magic rock star, 150 IQ genius uh, skills, or he was a witch. But then I find out that I'm the one who is who has a condition called aphantasia, and my and people who have aphantasia are called aphants. And so apparently I'm an aphant. I cannot undress you with my eyes. I cannot visualize you in your underwear. I cannot see you naked and put that in my spank bank. I can't do anything. I close my eyes and it's dark. Can't see anything. Can't imagine a taste. Um, once in a while before I bite into something tangy or, or, or I can, right before I taste something, I will pre-salivate. I will feel a certain foretanginess in my mouth, but I cannot imagine um, the taste of whipped cream or anything like that. Um, I talked to my other buddy, Sergey, and he said that he can visualize himself on a beach that he's been to, on an imaginary beach. He can imagine himself in a in a uh, beach chair, reclining beach chair, and he can imagine having a margarita or, or beach drink or rum drink in his hand and when he closes his eyes. Um, and I'm amazed by that, and I've never had that. I close my eyes and the only thing I can see is if I close my eyes and look at a bare bulb or look at the sun, I see red. Um, if I stare at a bright light or a flame too long and close my eyes, my retina and rods and cones, my rods and cones will, you know, have that burn in. If I look at the sun and close my eyes for a second, but if I try to change screens in my head, it doesn't happen. Oddly enough, I do vividly imagine during dreaming I have a vivid dream, I have a technicolor dream, I don't dream in black and white, um, but I don't dream about unicorns or dragons or anything like that. Everything is sort of a rehash of things from my past. Um, you know, my mom and my, my, my dearly past mom and dad can be in those dreams, but when I wake up, I don't hold that photo. You know, I do not, I do not, in my mind's eye, hold a picture of my mom and my dad or, or my ex-girlfriend or even my buddy Mark or Sergey or Andrew or even my business partner Dan. I mean, if I really want to see them, 
I need to look at a picture. That said, I have a lot more uh, that I've been thinking about with regards to that, and I'll talk about that soon. <coughs> One of the interesting things about being an aphant and having aphantasia and not being able to have any uh, heads-up display in your life or the ability to um, mind map or um, mind castle or memory castle or the ability to visualize something. Um, and in fact, on that note, I thought everybody was being so poetic or, or um, being so uh, metaphorical or or using their similes or analogies or analogs or descriptors when people talk about things like counting sheep. I just thought they were being figurative. I just thought, you know, you close your eyes and you count and count and count until you fall asleep. Not literally seeing sheep jump over white fences or anything like that. Um, I do have memories. I actually am very good at memories, but, um, but, um, <laughs> was it, was it Mark or was it Sergey or was it, I don't know who mentioned it, but they defined my memory as not being visual. They defined my memory as being a, um, a, uh, uh, what is it called? A spec sheet. I have a spec sheet on everything and everybody. You know, I know that Mark is five foot ten. I know that he has a high, um, I know that he has a, a high, I don't see it, but I know that he has a high arch. I know that he has, um, um, I know that he has, uh, ruddy skin. I know that he has blue eyes. I know that he has um, a hairy, I know that he has red hairy, a red hairy chest. And unfortunately, I know that he has a red hairy bottom. Um, I know that he has big, fat uh, um, sausage toes. And uh, I like to define his lower half as being built more like a satyr or a pan rather than a human uh, you know, it's very funny. I, I, uh, I know that he's 40 regular. I know that he has, in all dimensions, he's completely, absolutely regular and normal and can fit in any shoe, any clothing, etc. I know he gets shin splints. I know that he is bald. I know that he... Uh, now has a goatee, a salt and pepper goatee. He always wears hats. Most of the time, sailor baseball caps with the, with the, uh, the lid, uh, um, 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 curved around. Sort of like the way baseball players, um, military dudes and sailors do. Not like, uh, skaters and uh, Los Angeles with their stupid, stupid flat brim, uh, that I think is so dumb. You know, I, I just have him categorized. Same thing with my dad. I know my dad is six, four. I know that he usually wore a Caesar haircut. I know that his hair was curly and black. I know that he tanned, had a, what I thought was a relatively big nose, was handsome, um, I know that he had narrow shoulders and a strong, and in a deep chest. I know that he had a huge, uh, crater in his, in his shin of, I don't know which leg, because when I was, I think, 10, he crashed a motorcycle and destroyed his leg. And I know that a MASH doctor from Vietnam, uh, was, um, was at Straub Hospital in Honolulu and spent an entire year rebuilding his leg so that after he 
left the hospital after an entire year of, be of fighting infections, I know that he was perfectly fine and didn't even walk with a limp and swam every day. Uh, what else do I know him? I know he had brown hair. Uh, sorry, brown eyes. Um, uh, I know that my mom loved his hands. I know that he had toes that uh, was, that were um, uh, grown together in kind of a funny way because I guess he grew up in dress shoes. I knew that he's, he was a Marine. I know that he uh, worked at BBDNO. I know that he uh, was uh, fired from BBDNO sort of as the person holding the holding the, what is it called, holding the, the person to hold the whatever. Um, I know that he then formed um, Maloney. I know that he then formed Abraham and Dunn, uh, converted from B. Oh, I know that my, my dad was a fine artist and a commercial artist. I know that he went to the School of Visual Arts. I know that School of Visual Arts was in the uh, iron, the the iron building, the... The one in Manhattan, something, Iron Building. I know that the School of Visual Arts is on the top floor. I know that he could paint beautifully. I know that he was an illustrator for things like the New York Times Sunday, Sunday uh, cover and all those kinds of things. I remember that he converted to photography, he said, after his brother Jack Abraham uh, took up black and white photography. My dad... Uh, is quoted as saying, I decided that I, I loved painting, but I realized with the camera I could do uh, my entire work in 250th of a second instead of, you know, whatever time it took to sketch and research and, and render the painting and let it dry. See, those are all things I know about my dad and they're and they're not visual at all. I know that he was very ruddy. I know that he very, he very he was always tan, um, like really dark tan, like deep Hungarian tan, like even darker than I can get, which is pretty dark. So none of that is visual. It's all it's all like uh, either Sergey or Mark. Please stand up. Who did it? Uh, one of you told me that it's me. No, no, totally. I think it's Kaushik. Another one of my dear friends, Kaushik. I think he said that I remember in spec sheets and that everything that I have is um, based on the bulleted list of things associated with uh, whatever I own or whatever I know or whatever I remember. So how are you put together? Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Um, I don't really know that much about aphantasia. I do not know about being an aphant. I am a bouncing baby aphant. Um, that episode on uh, Space Force, the aphant community on Reddit freaking hated that episode. They thought that the um, that the base guard who had uh, Aphantasia, who was an aphant, aphant, um, they thought he was a dullard, and they thought that they were portraying aphantasia as a st stupid person disease. And um, I don't fancy myself uh, a dumbass, but I'll let you decide. Anyway, thanks for visiting. Uh, I will upload another episode as soon as I finish the next series of recordings. Mahalo, aloha, ciao, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, aloha, mahalo, again, bye.